Let's have fun here with this integral. Minus infinity to infinity dx or 1 plus 4x squared. Anytime you're looking at something like this in the denominator, your goal should be to convert it into du over 1 plus u squared because this will bring out an arctan antiderivative which is very easy to handle. How do we do this? By good substitution of x. If x were equal to u over 2, then dx is equal to 1 over 2 du. Bring in your new limits u1 and u2 with regards to this. Infinity minus infinity coming in, it's rather meaningless. It's still positive infinity and minus infinity. Those will remain as your limits, minus infinity to infinity. But bring in your substitutions. I have dx is equal to 1 over 2 du. I'll bring the 1 over 2 out. I have a du here in the numerator. In the denominator, I have 1 plus 4 times x. x here is equal to u over 2. That's your new substitution. This is what you have. Compute this. I have here minus infinity to infinity du. Let's look here in the denominator. It will be a 1 plus 4u square over 4, which will cancel out. You'll have 1 plus u square, which is exactly what I wanted. This is what I wanted in the denominator, 1 plus u square. The antiderivative is what? I have 1 over 2 arctan u. That's it. It's a definite integral. Do not bring back your substitution for u. You compute it as you see it because it's a definite integral. You're doing arctan of infinity minus arctan of minus infinity. Think of the graph of the arctan. You are squeezed here between two horizontal asymptotes, y equals positive pi over 2 and y equals minus pi over 2. Your function looks like this. As x approaches infinity, you're looking at the upper asymptote. As x approaches minus infinity, you're looking at the lower asymptote, which is minus pi over 2. Your end result here is 1 over 2 times arctan of positive infinity, which is a pi over 2, minus arctan of minus infinity, which is a minus pi over 2. You have a pi over 2 minus pi over 2. Sorry, you have a 1 over 2 times pi over 2 minus minus pi over 2, which is a pi. Pi times 1 over 2, your end result here is a pi over 2, and it will be correct.